My name is Victor Manef. I am a partner in Impetus Capital, an alternative investment fund manager in Bulgaria. And uh, we're managing something like 7 million level assets under management, which are privately collected money. Basically, COVID has accelerated growth and speed for almost all companies. We have a general growth between 100 to 300 percent among several of other companies, including the trucking, which is a very traditional commodity business. The trucking company is growing with double digit. Basically, all of our companies are growing with double digit in sales, and some of them are growing with uh, three digits in sales and some of them are growing with three digits in profit also. Basically, COVID has accelerated uh, the need for a new society and digital society. We were investing in innovation and our thesis was that we were investing in the things that will happen in 10 years from now. 10 years from now has happened now. Uh, basically, COVID has shortened the time period and the need for better service of, um, of companies, of people, of digitally servicing them. And because the technologies and the companies we have invested in, they're growing in a great speed. Now, this pushes us and we're fundraising for four of these companies because of this tremendous growth requires much more resources and money behind them. Technology companies are making 10% of, uh, of stocks 500, the, the European Pan-European in Index. Now technology companies are making something like 10% of the Bulgarian Index on the Bulgarian Stock Exchange. And this is dramatically changing from what they were and what were their position in the, in the stock indices. Basically 30% of uh, S&P 500 right now is technology companies, Facebook, Amazon, Google, etc. Uh, what is happening is that the new technologies, 150 years ago, the best technologies were railways. That was the, 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 the tip of the, uh, of the new modern technology and innovation, railways. And whoever wanted to be uh, fast with the new technology had to invest in railways. So nowadays it is artificial intelligence, life sciences, uh, big data, e-technology like e-commerce platforms, uh, retail technologies, retail tech. So all this is changing the traditional and it is making the traditional businesses more innovative, uh, better servicing the clients and is cutting a lot of costs uh, on the P&L of the companies, making them a little bit more efficient than they were in the past. So what will be in 10 years? Uh, there will be new technologies, new things that will happen, but it will be, again, technologies and technology companies that will be shaping our world. It will be virtual reality, augmented reality, uh, more technologies that will be able to transmit um, our thoughts. And I think that uh, we're not far away of being able to communicate with computers directly being linked to our minds. but. But, but this is coming. And I'm not sure that this is the best thing that is happening, but we're going there.